Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats here from Pop Turnative, speaking to William Naughty Lamb about Fantastic Beasts: The Secrets of Dumbledore, which is going to be in theaters April fifteenth. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for having me. It's a big, 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 big pleasure to be here. This is exciting. This is like it really is exciting. exciting. This is the third film in the Fantastic Beasts. This is your yeah. second film part of the universe. I mean, I'm sure it's pretty crazy right now. It is. It is extraordinary. I have to say. I have to say. I've I've been waiting for this. And uh, filming during this pandemic yeah. was, you know, different. And the thing that kept us going was. The fact that we knew the fans were going to be there at the end of the tunnel. And yeah, yeah here we are. I, I couldn't wait. I'm and I, have super spe- I have specific questions about Yusuf Kama. I have specific questions yeah. about the movies. But I have a general question for you before, like, before we kind of get into that, William. I mean, storytelling. I just kind of want to know what excites you specifically about storytelling. Because that's what William Nadilam does. You're a storyteller. That's that's true. I'm a storyteller. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know what? I, I was... Um, Makes me think of, uh, I think it was Soren Kierkegaard who said that, not that I know him by heart, but I was watching uh, uh, Mads Mikkelsen in Another Round uh, the other day. Yeah. And the film opened with a quote by Kierkegaard, fantastic film. Mads is just in- incredible in that film as well. Yeah. Um, and the, I think the question was, um, what is youth? Yep. And the answer was, it's a dream. And what's love? Love is what's in a dream. Yeah. And what is storytelling? Storytelling for me is the echo yeah. of a dream. Yeah. And it is what makes us. Storytelling gives us the distance to reconsider life. Life is like uh, a jewel and you can look at it under different lights. Mm-hmm. And storytelling allows you to step back, reconsider and re-enter life. For me, that's the basic. That's a great answer. Incroyable. <laughs> <laughs> That's so great. No, it, it's so true. Because um, it, it really is an exciting time, I think, for storytelling. There's so many amazing movies and TV shows coming out. And it's just nonstop. And it's really, really cool. Um, so we, we talked about it at the beginning of the interview. And it's exciting. You know, Fantastic Beast is back. Use of Kama is back. Um, obviously, the mindset a little bit is, you know, the continuation of the storylines and everything. But what's the mindset like? coming into like a new movie, like a continuation with the same character and everything. Does it feel a bit different? Is it the similar mindset than the first one you worked on? Like, what's that like for you? Well, during the first one, I was really, really intimidated at first, during the first day, <laughs> you know, I was surrounded by all these people, you know, just, yeah, just, just big shots. But the thing is, they um, downplayed it very, very quickly. Yeah. They really welcomed me in a family, mm-hmm. and I felt it this time around. Uh, it's interesting because I've noticed that in a city like New York, about one million people left the city yep. to go back to their family. Yep. So for me to go back to filming was like going back to the family, literally. Yeah. Um, but then you have the pressure because you know that people have been introduced to the character. So what do you say now? Yes. What's next? Absolutely. Yeah. You know, the character has to grow. And at the same time, there's one thing, which is this film can, could be seen as a standalone. Yeah. Basically, of course, it is preferable to have seen what happened before, before seeing this. So ha- what happened in uh, Fantastic Fantastic Beasts on where to find them and then Crimes of Grindelwald be- before stepping into Secrets of Dumbledore. But at the same time, not necessarily. Nope. This is a story that actually holds itself. It's a, I would call it a wizarding heist. Uh, <laughs> We, we have the, the most uh, powerful wizard of all times, which is Dumbledore, but that's something people say. Yeah. What proves that he is? This film proves it. Yeah. It allows you to not only have the pleasure of going back to the basics of Hogwarts, so if you have been like me, a, and I suspect maybe you, a, a fan of uh, the Harry Potter series, then you will find the basics that you, that you like, the places that you loved, the places that make you know, your... Uh, put butterflies in your heart and um yeah. and at the same time you dig into who exactly is this Dumbledore person and why is he 
So why does it have this 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 vow with Grindelwald? What made Grindelwald a worthy opponent? And that is the new thing. So what is Yusuf Kama doing in that story? Why is he called to help? Yeah. Exactly. Why him? Exactly. Why this team? Yeah. It's basically part of the Dumbledore First Army. Yeah. And you know, it's a it's an interesting thing to to, to start with. You played him for two movies now, Yusuf Kama. Yeah. Do you feel like you have kind of a grasp of the character? Or are you still kind of learning new things all the time? Like, what's that like? What's your favorite thing about this character? <laughs> you know what? Um, I once played Hamlet. And, and there's a lot of similarities between um, Hamlet and Yusuf Kama. And uncertainty, the legacy of the father, uh, the need for revenge and basically wondering about the meaning of life, uh, as big as the topic it, this is. Um, but the thing is, there was one, one quote, uh, and, and I'm going to translate from the French. So I'm basically translating from a translation, which is really bad. I shouldn't do it. That's really well, bad. I'm going to understand. Moi, je vais comprendre. <laughs> Merci beaucoup. <laughs> so there's a moment in Hamlet where uh two guys who were with hamlet at the university come to him and they try and you know pick his brains and try, they try to figure him figuring him out and what, by asking him silly questions and at some point he asks them to play the flute you know and they can't play the flute and he tells them oh you can't play the flute and you want to play me and what interests me is what he says afterwards you can't play a flute a simple instrument and you want to play me mm. you and am i easier to play than a flute you shall not pluck the heart of my mystery. And to me, that's very important. Everybody has a mystery. So if you think you will figure out their mystery or that if you feel that they have to unveil the mystery, yep. you're a fool. Mm -hmm. And for me, karma has a mystery that's really deep. Yeah. We don't know exactly where this guy's coming from. We don't really know what is happening. We get that, we don't we get that when we first, first meet him. Like when we first yeah. meet you, it's just like mystery all over the place. <laughs> and that's something you have to make peace with. You know, <laughs> you, you can't figure him out. You will not. <laughs> all I can tell you, all I can tell you is that this time around, he has grown a mustache. Now the question is why? That that's the big question, and we're gonna they're gonna have to go see it. They're gonna have to go see it. It's coming out soon, um, on the fifteenth. Um, you brought it up. Um, I mean, you're part of like one of the biggest, most unbelievable cinematic universes like of all time. You know what I mean? Like the Harry Potter, Wizarding World. It's just like I don't even know, like iconic. Like I don't. There's so many words to describe it. You know what I mean? Um, I have to pinch myself. Yeah. Yeah. What's like, what can you tell me just about being part of that universe? Not only just in general, but it's curious about like, you've been in it for like more than one film. Like, I feel like that's a really cool thing too. Like, yeah. It wasn't just yeah. kind of like a one-time thing. Like you're back for another movie yeah. in this universe. What's that like? Well, that means a lot. Yeah. That means uh, you know, a lot for me. First, what it means is that, um, I am really welcomed in a family. Mm -hmm. It means that, um, you know, the authors, uh, the producers, the director, all these people are okay to work with me and they welcome me in their world. So uh, again, this thing of family yep. is, is very, very, very important, you know. And it also means that we are one world. Yep. Um, you know, we are telling a story. It's just a story, but my God, what a story, yep. you know. and. I think it's a message sent out there. You need to tell stories. We need to reclaim the narrative of life. Some people are trying to make us think that this is this way or that way for whatever reasons. Um, violence is is uh, imposed upon us in many ways. And what we what we do is we tell stories. So we can be seen as dreamers, but we actually builders. We build a world through those stories. And what a world and, it is for this one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I'm so proud to be part of this world. The fans, uh, when I first met fans, I couldn't believe my eyes. Yep. I didn't know that existed. This, this desire, this, this will, this enthusiasm, that really means a lot. And we've, have, we've seen people, uh, I was uh, in London for the London premiere and I went to, uh, to a store mm -hmm. and I, I ran into fans. Uh, it was uh, Minadima's store. Yep. And they said, thank you 
we needed this yep. so much. Yeah. And that's what that's what we do. We, that's we what cook it's all some, about. Yep. And, and we deliver and we hope that the food will satisfy. So it's a big pressure, but it's mainly a big honor. But it, it's crazy because you look at the like the Fantastic Beast movies, the Harry Potter, just the universe, any like just the music, the costumes, the effects. It just makes you go like it's one of those things that just makes you go like whoa you know what i mean you know what i mean by that like it's just one of those like it never like it doesn't stop amazing you just the feel the look the sounds the characters you know what i mean by that oh totally totally and i and i think i've 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 understood i understood a little bit why it's because the people behind it have such passion Mm -hmm. it's it's madness Mm -hmm. i remember being uh you know on set and uh, and two things you know struck me. I, I was going onto the set, and just before reaching the set, the eye of my of the corner of my eye caught someone who was moving strangely and speaking to himself. And I looked, I realized that was an actor speaking to invisible people. And this was just simply Eddie Redmayne rehearsing. This guy was so much into his craft. He yes. was so much, and, and no one was watching. It was not for the camera. Yeah. He was just building his universe and I thought oh my god yeah I remember now why I do this job because this craft is real magic there is the magic that we do at once but the acting itself is magic yeah. and this magic is something we all have that's that's the first thing we do as babies yeah. we speak to imaginary characters we build worlds and we cannot be stripped from that magic no and when we go back to the harry potter world to the wizarding world universe it is that thing that we reclaim our part of magic yes absolutely yep that's why we're so fascinated with that and the passion of the people the second part is i was in a quidditch store yeah i was just there (laughs) with my turn to you know and i i started looking at things and i thought wait a minute i didn't realize i didn't read in a scenario a scene that was taking place in this particular store everything is so perfect i just wanted to steal everything <laughs> and i asked i asked uh, the uh camera assistant i said so what scene exactly are we filming here and he went like none what do you mean so yeah but the detail here is just mind-blowing he said no 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 that's because we're filming from the outside so here's things the thing is they were filming it from the outside and what i was seeing was never going to be on camera but it existed so what you see is actually the tip of the iceberg the emerged tip of the iceberg what's underneath it's it's mind-blowing and that's the passion of the the craftsmen that are working on this film people are gonna uh, people are gonna watch this interview and they're just gonna do fantastic beasts and harry potter marathons after they see this they're gonna watch this interview they're gonna go see secrets of dumbledore like oh chills man this is crazy um but william thank you so much for coming on pop turner this was so great to chat with you merci beaucoup Oh, merci à toi. It was such a pleasure. I, I, I love your energy. And I think this show is going to be great. Oh, absolutely. No, it's going to be a great. People are going to love it. I mean, Fantastic Beast, The Secrets of Dumbledore is going to be available in theaters April 15th. So they're going to be able to check that. And where can people yeah. follow you on social media to keep up date with everything? Instagram? Oh, yes. And so oh, the thing I want to say is you have to see it in cinemas. Uh, yep. Crimes of Grindelwald, I've seen it five times. I've seen it in... Uh, Cinema X, I've seen it in, 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 in 2D, in 3D, in 4DX. If those, and each time I understood something new. Yeah. Those films are made to be seen in a huge screen, oh, yeah. uh, surrounded yeah. with people. And you're supposed to have, you know, to, it is supposed to trigger something in your body yep. to make you go like, yes, and wow, you know, and, and share it with people. So that's why I encourage people to see it. Some people have told me, oh, I've seen Crimes of Green Environment, but oh, great, great, where? On the plane. I was like, oh my God, you can't see it on, on the, the plane. plane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know? So go to the theaters, see it in theaters. Where you can follow me. <laughs> yes, so, where did you see it? Yeah, on the plane. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Don't take the plane just to see the film. Doesn't make sense. <laughs> Absolutely. No, seriously. Well, this has been Pop Turn of YouTube.com slash Pop Turn for previous episodes. You're going to be able to see William Natty Lamb in Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore, reprising his role as Yusuf Kama in theaters April 15th. Until next time, this is William and Petey Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. 
This has been an Autograph Communications production.